Okay guys, so we're back with our burger paragraph and remember we we're talking all about Valentine's Day. And the first day we wrote our facts down. Um, on Tuesday we, or Wednesday, we picked three of our facts to write about. So remember we have detail one, detail two, and detail three. So my details were um, February 14th and I said we celebrate the wonderful day of Valentine's on February 14th. Then I picked love. On this day, people from all over show their love for others. And then my last detail was St. Valentine. It said Valentine's Day has cre what oh that was supposed to be was was created because of a man named St. Valentine. So see when you go back and read, you find mistakes, which is fine. Was created. Okay. So now I need a topic and I need a closing. So remember, our topic, guys, is where we're going to introduce to our reader what we're writing about. So it ha I have to make sure it has our, our big idea what we're talking about. Okay, so we're talking about um, Valentine's Day and facts about Valentine's or what we know about Valentine's Day. So my topic sentence needs to make sure it includes that so my reader knows what they're fixing to read. So I can say, um, in February, we celebrate a Let me make sure I spell special right. Guys, and you don't have to spell all the words correctly the first time. Mm. <laughs> Let's see special spell. Mm. For some reason, this Nitha forgot how to spell special. Hold on. Okay, so it's S P E C I. Yeah. In February we sell, we celebrate a special holiday. Called Valentine's Day. Period. Here are some things I know, okay? So I'm talking about, so in February, we celebrate a special holiday called Valentine's Day. Here are some things I know. So I have, I have Valentine's Day, so my reader knows that we're talking about Valentine's Day, and it knows that I'm going to be talking about facts. I didn't state here are some facts. I kind of used another word for facts. Okay, so um, I want you to come up with your own topic sentence. Try not to copy mine, okay? I don't want you, actually, I don't want you to copy mine. I want you to use your own words and come up with your own topic sentence. Now, so mine would read, in February, we celebrate a special holiday called Valentine's Day. Here are some things I know. We celebrate the wonderful day of Valentine's on February 14th. On this day, people from all over show their love for others. It said Valentine's Day was created because of a man named St. Valentine. Now I'm going to come up with my closing. This is where I'm going to I'm going to come to an end of what I'm talking about, okay? Cuz I don't want to just if I just I can leave I don't want to write this and then this be the last thing I end with. It says, you know, I need to close it. Think about when you read a story or when you read a non um, an informational book. Do they just stop in the middle of what they're saying? They just tell you facts and they stop. No, they have a closing. They kind of wrap their book up. They kind of tell the reader, okay, we're at the end. This is everything you've learned. This is everything I know. So that's what you need to do. You need to have a closing. You can't just stop and then just be like, okay, we're done. Because the reader's going to be like, what? What happened? Like, what? You know, I want more. What happened? Is it, did, did they end? Did they run out of stuff to say? So a closing could be, now remember, we want to kind of tie back to the, to, to the topics. We want to make sure we refer back to Valentine's Day. Um, okay. 
we could say these are effects that I know and have learned about Valentine's Day. And that should be capitalized. I'm just going to do the bad job. I should be capitalizing those. Okay. So once you have... So I'm going to go back and read it all. In February, we celebrate a special holiday called Valentine's Day. Here are some things I know. We celebrate the wonderful day of Valentine's on February 14th. On this day, people from all over show their love. I should not have an S. Show their love for others. It's said Valentine's Day was created because of a man named St. Valentine. These are the facts that I know and have learned about Valentine's Day. Okay, so I want you to come up with your own closing that goes with your, um, what, 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 with you have, what, oh, my goodness, with what you have written. So now that you are done, this is what I want you to do. Okay, this is just a planning page that we use to kind of help us break up to make sure that I have a topic, my details, and my closing. I want you, you should have a paper that looks like this that says all about, okay? And I'm going to write the word Valentine in my all about because that's what I'm talking about. And you can use a pretty crayon. You can use a marker to write this. If you want to write it in, you know, pretty bubbly letters, you can, okay? Now, what you're going to do, guys, is you're going to take this right here and you're going to rewrite it in a paragraph. Now, you don't need to write this. I don't need you to write topic, detail one, detail two. No, I want you to write whatever you wrote in your handwriting. So, for instance, the first thing I'm going to write is my topic. So, I'm going to copy exactly what I wrote. Guys, and when you write, you're going to kind of put your finger right here in what we call indent. Okay, so we're gonna kind of scoot over a little bit. I'm gonna say in February. And I want you to use your nice, pretty handwriting because I would love to print these out and hang these in my hallway. So people can see what my um, kiddos online are doing. So make sure when you're taking your vid, when you're taking your pictures to upload them, that I can see every single word so people can read them. Oh, see, Miss Hazel, I've already messed up because I wasn't copying right. In February, we celebrate, and this is why you shouldn't use pen because I can't erase it. We celebrate. Oh my God! Don't do what I'm doing. I just messed up. We celebrate a, make sure you use pencil because if you're like Miss Nieto, you're going to mess up and that's okay if you mess up and have to erase. It's better if you write in pencil. Special holiday called Valentine's Day. And make sure you have capitals and you have punctuation. Here are some things I know. Period. Then I'm going to start with my detail number one. And I'm not going to go to the next line. I'm going to finish writing. We're on here. We celebrate... A wonderful day 
of Valentine's on February 14th, period. I'm going to go to my next detail. On this day, people from all over show their love for others. And then I'm going to keep going. We're at my next detail. It has been said that Valentine's Day was created because of a man. Oh, what a messed up. This is why you should write a pencil. A man named Saint. Period. Now I'm going to write my conclusion. These are the facts that I know about Valentine's Day. Okay, I'm going to go back and read it. Now, if you see, it pretty much took up the whole page. Because you should have one, two, three, four, five sentences. Some people may have six because your introduction may be two sentences, okay? So, in February, we celebrate a special holiday called Valentine's Day. Here are some things I know. We celebrate the wonderful day of Valentine's on, on February 14th. On this day, people from all over share their love. For others, it has said it has been said that Valentine's Day was created because of a man named Saint Valentine. These are the facts that I know about Valentine's Day. Okay, so guys, even Miss Nieto makes mistakes. Even there's things that I've left out, I've spelt wrong. Okay, so writing is not always going to be perfect. Perfect. It takes time. It takes maybe more than one time to write something. Okay, so. Please make sure you use your best handwriting. Please make sure that when you take a picture of it, you bring it close to where I can see all the words, okay? Um, I would love to print these out to put in the hallway. All right, guys. Can't wait to read y'all's 